What up, what up, what up? You listening to Two Live Radio on WOUB. I'm your host, Young V The Problem. Hey, it's your girl, Tata. What's going on, y'all? Nice to see y'all back. Man, it's been, it was a crazy weekend, first of all, right? I highly doubt that. It, it, why not? Why wasn't it crazy weekend? It, it was Halloween. Crazy. It wasn't crazy for me at all, besides Tour de Fronzy. Oh, uh, you went to, what happened? So why, why wasn't it crazy? Especially if you went to Tour de Fronzy. Tour de it was live. DJ Band Camp was down here. We was at Club 5, the Alpha House. Mm -hmm. And we, um, you know, every year we do the Tour de Fronzy. And, you know, everybody obviously got really... Uh, intoxicated, inebriated. Oh, you like you like the vocab. Yeah, you just, you, you just like the vocab. Right out the dome like you that. like the vocab. I like that. But we uh, we wound up. I ain't make it on Court Street. Not because of me. I wasn't intoxicated. Cause no, you don't gotta lie. To, it's be, cool. Because quiet as kept. I, I didn't really carry my team that much. I let Julius and Kelly go ahead oh, and take that. Oh, out. yeah. You're not real. No, you're I'm not, not real. Oh, but, at, least you, but, at least you admit it. It's cool. Yeah, I admit that. But who's going up against uh, Justin, Dean, Darius, and Tiffany? Justin is like Darius a, was drinking out the bag. Justin, like for real, he got like the liver of like you know. Justin is old. a garbage disposal. <laughs> he might as well have ate the box after he got done. That's how much he was drinking that wine. Then Darius threw up though. Dang. But so, anyway, so but we got a special guest right today. Yeah, we got we got a special guest coming in that like to jump the gun, obviously. But yeah, yeah, we, we got ain't going. we got Jerry Valentine coming in. Whoa. That's, that's <laughs> me, me. He's an OU alumni now, but we got him coming in to talk about some stuff. We get out studios, and I think it's gonna be a real live show. Yeah, he he an up and coming comic from from our school, so it's dope to have him on the comedian. show. Comedian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said comic, comedian. It's the same. Man, I wouldn't like, necessarily have said that though. Man, like, I'm gonna take away some points for that. Don't hate the vocab. All right? yeah. Anyway, um, but first we're gonna take a quick com commercial break, and then we're gonna come back with Jerry. To live radio, we are back, and as promised, we have Jerry in the studio today. Hey, what's up, all you? <laughs> what's going on? So, so tell tell the people a little bit about yourself who don't know. Uh, my name is Jerry Valentine, uh, twenty-two year old. Um, I was oh, let me tell me speaking the mic. Yeah, speaking to the mic. Um, twenty-two years old from Cincinnati, Ohio. Like I said. Uh, attended OU for four years. Um, I am actually not an alum yet. I'm still working to get mm. my degree. Oh, my so bad. We're we going to keep it. Too soon. We gonna, yeah, we, I'm still in, in, in pursuit, um, but I'm, I'm getting them papers soon. That's definitely going to happen. But uh, <laughs> And uh, I'm a businessman and a uh, a Tell comment. us what type of what type of ty type of businesses are you into? I already told him about Get Out Studios on our first show. Let me throw my shameless plug in there. I'm the head of broadcast uh, relations for Get Out Studios. Uh, quit, quit doing okay. that voice. Just stop. Just <laughs> nah, stop I thought that kind of like turned. That's on. how we get them right there. Yeah. yeah. But uh, basically, Get Out Studios is something that I started with uh, with one of my fraternity brothers and my best friend from back at home. Uh, and basically what it is is we're we're just we're starting a big movement of just bringing positive positive media back mm -hmm. and supporting uh everyone that's out there that's chasing success pretty mm -hmm. much so what we're doing we're trying to get everyone who's just tr striving to be something we're trying to figure out you know how are you doing it well, what are you doing you, you're not sitting back uh we want to see uh everybody just we just want we're, just, we're trying to get everybody to to, to do their craft like we want to see that um so that's just something that we, we we're in the works on. We got a lot uh, mm -hmm. in store uh, coming up, uh, especially in the spring. I'm very excited. I just came back uh, from Cincinnati, met with the UC team down there, mm -hmm. and it, it's growing. And it's some it just got me so excited because what we're doing here in Athens, where we originated a lot of the stuff, uh, is now trickling down to UC, and to see that mm -hmm. kind of like form. Is, is, is a beautiful thing, especially starting from nowhere. So it's something that I'm just excited about. And tell the people the other um, like branches you have besides Athens. And you said you see Cincinnati, so where else? And then we're also starting it up in Columbus. Columbus okay. right now, it's a little stagnant, but we're still, okay. it's, it's, it's up and coming though. So it's definitely going, I feel like it's 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 taking a, a little bit more time because I feel like uh, God knows once we once we <laughs> capture Columbus it's, it's over. Mm -hmm. um, but right now we got some good people that we're working with down there, and 
I'm just I'm excited. So I'm so just talk really a little bit. Everything. Talk a little bit more personally about like what you doing personally. Like I know you're doing the comedy now. How'd that all come about? What made you even start? And well, it all started. Uh, I always wanted to do stand up, honestly, mm -hmm. but I was just scared to just get out there on the mic for mm -hmm. real. Um, I personally didn't like the way my voice sounded on the mic, <laughs> so that really kept me from trying to get on stage for real. Yeah. Um, but uh, was BSCBB Live um, your first? BSBB Live was my very first time on stage, and, uh, and that video is online. Y'all can catch, y'all can see. Is it? Yeah, you yeah. can still see, see that. See, I'm looking for online. footage from yeah, BSBB yeah, yeah. Live right yeah. now. Yeah. Well, yeah. For those of y'all don't know, it's like Saturday Night Live and in Living Color. We just started the last <laughs> mm -hmm. year. It's, it, it is really live. Is it gonna yeah. be a part two? Yeah, but I can't be a part of it. I'm, I'm, I'm getting too, too big. You getting too old. old. You too yeah. get too yeah. big. Yeah, or, yeah. You're too I, famous. I ain't no, 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 not like that. I, I'm not no small woman. I'm just saying, I ain't about to be up there doing all that. You know what, uh, I'm what does that mean? What I'm saying, I feel anything. silly doing all that. You're too, you too grown, basically. Listen, hold on, hold on. We, we also got Get Out Studios in in the studio right now recording. Oh, yeah. Y'all can't see Jerry, but Jerry has on a Coogee sweater. That's not Coogee. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It looks like a coochie sweater with, with the a cap that make him look like he just with a day day with a day day scully <laughs> cap on and a gold chain. Now tell us the inspiration behind that. I'm Tupac and Biggie at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> but the day day cap, that's what it looked like day day to you. It looked like you converted Islam to me, yeah. but we got I don't know. Like it looked like we, you we, over we, here. We it looked like you uh, you in the studio looking like dipping dot. Okay. <laughs> All right, he, he, he's, he's, he's shining front the on fox my blazer. With the and the hound. He's shining front on <laughs> my blazer the fox right and the now. Hound. Go swoop listen, in the back. Listen, y'all gonna see what it looked like <laughs> on the tape, and y'all can tell me. But we gonna take a break. I don't look bad. Let the... I wish I could see the tape. I can't wait to. Okay, the tape we gonna wait out. till the tape come out. We gonna take a break, and then we come back, we gonna talk about some more stuff, y'all. All right, y'all. Two Live Radio, we are back again. Man, we got an interesting mix of music for y'all this week, don't we? We got that 99-2000 Yeah, we do. We do. And you know, I, I asked my mother and them, I was like, what my, what, what kind of songs you want to hear? Because my mother bowl on Sundays and she be like listening to the show. That's what's up. So she, she texts me. She in the bowling me, league? Yeah, she texts me That's and says she want to hear I Might Be by Gucci. <laughs> she also like said that. Dream Rocking That Thing, <laughs> Big Pimpin'. Is Put it in your mouth. Knocking any pins now? <laughs> listen to this. Air Force, Air Force Ones. We she bringing it. Here. We gonna take it back on uh -huh. this show, man. <laughs> Big boy. Oh, my headphones work now. Y'all be perping in the studio. Like I, my headphones really don't be working. Now they working right now. Though I was perping this whole time, <laughs> but they work now though. But what I was gonna say is, Sierra and Future are engaged now. And he gave her a 15 karat ring. I'm Mind you. Mind you, this is the same size ring that Kanye gave Kim. So what y'all think Future got that type of money? He took a loan out of something. <laughs> he did. He did. Like, like, like Jim Jones. Jim Jones was doing payments. He, he put that like on that? credit. He put that on credit. Something. He ain't got it. He ain't got it. Okay. Okay. He so got he, Kanye money. Nah. Okay, no, nah, he ain't got. I, I, I believe that, but I want maybe. Know. Hey, maybe Sierra put like half on. She got it. She I might believe be that because Sierra, Sierra seemed like she pressed. <laughs> she might have put might half have. on that. Yeah. Sierra ain't been single since she left Bow Wow. <laughs> yeah, she was she talking was with that. Reggie Bush, Fifty Cent. Amari Amari Sotomayor. Sotomayor. Yeah. <laughs> She's sick. Yeah. She, don't, she don't give her stuff a break. <laughs> oh, don't do women like that. Do not do women like that. Y'all don't give y'all stuff a break. Don't I do that. Uh, don't do that. Because I'm a feminist. Like I was saying. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> now, Kanye originally, now he had three rings made for Kim originally. Now, he, her ring, when he proposed to her, her ring was only four hours old because he had just switched it out beforehand. Four hours old. That's, Dang, that's, got a that's, birth how, date that's how much he was turning up. And he said, he also said he wanted to apologize to the male race for turning up so much. But obviously he ain't turned up that much if, if future Got Sierra that type of ring, you know what I'm saying? He how old is our ring though? We don't know how old. <laughs> that. That's true. Yeah. Nobody keep trying. Yeah. That, that's 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 true. That's true. But Kanye said, "I'm sorry, y'all. I just bit this gummy worm. I'm so sorry for that." Just no, can't have nothing on. Now him. look, this is how Kanye said that he he got smitten over Kim Kardashian. Kanye said he didn't have a phone for three years. He got a phone. He seen Chris and uh Kim on the phone. He said, "All right, I'm gonna marry her, but I'm gonna wait my turn." Didn't he? He had. He thought he had it like that. Then. Yeah. He, he said, like, "I'm gonna wait my turn." He said, "Y'all wait through a couple relationships." Come on, don't say y'all ain't never waited for a girl. Y'all ain't never waited for a girl. Oh, y'all too. Y'all too. What? I ain't too nothing. I'm just saying. So okay. So don't. He Kanye. Don't, don't friend on that. Like, don't friend on that. Cause Jerry, you don't wait. 
I'm what? on God's time. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Kanye also said that they are in the business of exploiting themselves, and if somebody wanted to pay him ten million for his wedding, then he'll let them tape it. What y'all think about that? Hey, I can't fault him for that. Like, I would take that ten million for my wedding. I'd do it. I'd do it. If he was smart, he would do it himself. Hey, he film sell it. Yeah, he would film it himself. Yeah, and then okay. sell it. That's even better. He'll get okay. more money that get way. Get twenty million. You know how many this. people would want to see that wedding? Yeah. You right. You right about that. He yeah. might Kanye is creative. He said he want to have some fighter jets at his wedding. Dang. That's real, boss. Dang. You need a therapist. At the <laughs> wedding. That's true. That's true. He also said that Kim Kardashian's talent is being beautiful. What y'all think about that? Is that really what her talent is? Hmm. I ain't. Her I mean, I don't, is that really a talent? We can't talk That's about that. That's what We can't talk about the even... real talent. <laughs> no. But that ain't really a talent to me. Like, you either look good or you don't. That ain't got nothing to do with talent. Ain't nothing to do with talent. So y'all saying that, what is a model's talent then? I mean, they look good. They getting the, they already look that good before. That way, yeah. They already look that good, though, before. They just got to learn a few poses, and That ain't. Okay. So what that got to do with Kim? You said, what are you going to do with Kim? <laughs> <laughs> quit, quit smacking on I'm this. sorry, I'm focused on this gummy worm, y'all. All right, we can, we can take another break after that. I regret giving you that gummy worm. <laughs> All right, we're going to the music. We'll be back. What up, what up? We back, we back. Hey, so Tata. Um, yeah, this, man, these headphones don't work again, man. Again? Dang. <laughs> yeah. It's cut. Dang, uh, it's cut for the headphones. I was trying to be official. All right, go ahead. Anyway, Tata, <laughs> so, like, you know, this weekend, was this past weekend was Halloween weekend. Yeah. And, and I had a bit of a regret, like you know, like I dressed up and everything for Halloween. It you was dressed cool. up? It was I didn't cool. even get to put my costume on. I was, I was Chris what Tucker. Was gonna Chris, I, uh, I was gonna know? be a girl from like some '80s videos. It was corny this year, but I had to. So you ain't even get to do that? No, Dang. because I miss Court Street. Keep I had some you. Molly Cyrus you could have did to like uh, uh, really get that costume uh, popping. Uh, what about uh, <laughs> 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 But, uh, but <laughs> anyway, though, besides that, though, man, like, how was university? They homecoming was this past weekend. I saw, and I'm sorry, because I, I never been got there. to experience I that. I should have been there, for real, for real. Yeah, One of my homies was, was there. there, and then, you know, you get to see all the black women with their natural hair rocking that out. That's It's sexy. Yeah, it's, it yeah, is. So I'm glad that you said that, because people act like they don't want to embrace nah, that. No, the, the natural hair is sexy. It's a sexy look, but, you know. Okay. Anyway, but something happened at Howard. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, what I was about to say is, Chris Brown, he was at a Howard homecoming party. At about 4.30 in the morning, he was getting ready to go to his hotel. Two girls asked to take a picture with him. A guy jumped in the picture. Chris Brown was salty, and they got to arguing. Now, so, obviously, what I'm about to say is this escalated into a fight. <laughs> but Chris Brown yeah, said angry. something like, <laughs> something derogatory towards... Um, towards um, bisexual or homosexual people, then he said, I'm not about this blank, blank, blank. I'm about boxing. We know you're about boxing. <laughs> you already know that. <laughs> so him and his bodyguard allegedly, his bodyguard too, allegedly was fighting the guy. The guy's nose was broken, and he said he was going to need surgery, and he said that if Chris Brown had apologized on the scene, then he wouldn't have pressed charges. Press charges. He wanted an apology? Yeah, so God, we gotta get the cheese. Yes, yeah, he did. I wanna get that money. That's, that's sorry enough. Thanks. I'm just saying, he Thanks. That's exactly yeah. what he should have done. Yeah. But so then Chris Brown got charged with felonious assault. Now he had to go to court. Trey Songs came to court. It was a whole bunch of people in the court. Chris Brown's mom was salty because everybody was in there. Of course, <laughs> like celebrities always, not always, but um, his stuff got knocked down to a misdemeanor. It was not even a felony anymore. So Dang. he's cool. He it's, definitely should have went to jail for that though, because after the Rihanna thing, I just feel like how it's you in just your go, history. yeah, a, <laughs> how you you just break somebody nose and you, you throwing bottles at, at, at a club in London or where was throwing it? bottles? Yeah, with him and Drake, remember that when they yes, got to and the place? He, oh, he yeah. obviously yeah. he's definitely not about that boxing like yeah. you throwing bottles. Yeah, he was. Just, that's his intro. What? That's his throw the bottle. <laughs> then square. Oh, that's how you get it. Then that's square. how you get it popping. He let you know. Like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey y'all think he's still salty about Rihanna though? Or was you? No, he was back talking he was, to I Rihanna. Mean, I, he was, I know he didn't. But they then they bro I thought they broke up. They again. broke up, then they got back cool. He back with the other girl now. Rihanna don't Kamuche, know what, she what does this say? What does this say to the young girls and the women that we take these men back after they go back <laughs> and forth between women? 
Is that what y'all that y'all want y'all daughters to think? Oh, my daughter, she's gonna be uh, a well, nun. My daughter gonna be a nun. Okay, I'm gonna train her up. So what's be up a with the nun? A nun. But you don't want my, girls my that you date be to be a nun. Huh? You say what? You don't want the Why women you that you date to, to act like a nun. No, you I'm not trying to call y'all out, but it's so much sexist behavior that goes on. This is a man's yeah. world. Somebody ha if somebody don't stick up for the women, who will? Women, y'all. <laughs> Yeah, but we we are set the standards. For real, I mean y'all. For real, we, we can't do anything. Yep. Yeah, we can't do anything. Y'all the gatekeeper. Y'all the gatekeeper. Like it doesn't matter. Yeah. So y'all are y'all are y'all denying the fact that this is a man's world and we are the um, disadvantaged? Are y'all denying that? We not denying the disadvantage. that. Are y'all denying what? That. I'm not that disadvantaged. What do you mean? We're not that disadvantaged. Yeah, I'm not. How 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 so? It's all type of acts and rules and laws. It doesn't matter. We won't even make That's the like same amount of money as y'all. I mean, huh? We won't even make the same amount of money as y'all. Get your weight up, shot. <laughs> what? That's what I'm saying. Playing. See, I can't. I can't. I'm just playing. Um, <laughs> I don't. I, I think. I, I mean, feminism think is not about bashing men. It's just about women being equal to men. It's not about me trying to be on top or women trying to be. The, the ones on top. It's just about us trying to be equal. My thing is, it's it's something that I feel like it would never get to a point of satisfaction with women. So it doesn't matter no what we do, what type of, how much you getting paid. It's always going to be a standard that basically gonna, what he's still saying, trying to strive for. And that's you can't please women. Too. You so, can't please women. Okay. Basically y'all need to know what y'all want. Like. See, that's... <laughs> See, that's that that's that behavior. That's that sexist saying. behavior. Why are y'all depicting women to be this we're never happy and we're emotional and we want too much? It's not about that. And what you was about to say about black people, brother? <laughs> brother? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying just like we're black people. Some people oh we're never you're right. We need to accept the fact we'll never be equal with white folks just because that's we we're we always gonna fight that battle and to the end of time in my mm -hmm. opinion. So instead of complaining about it, just get up, get out and do something. Like y'all gotta keep on shameless plug. You know what I'm okay. saying? Shout That's out to a... get out studio. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, like it's just nothing that, that we're gonna be able to do to ever get on that same that balance scale. So, so you it's just, we just keep proving them. Women wrong. is like I mean, it ain't I mean, maybe it can't be as good as it could be right now, but at the same time women get they like y'all pretty much get what y'all want. Like y'all get That's not true. It's a lot of women if that's doing want, big things. Like Hillary Clinton ran for president that part a few is years true. ago. Oprah like, doing big things, that don't mean black people on top do it. I mean, no, but at the same time, though, but women have a lot of freedom now, is what I'm saying. Yeah, like, that doesn't mean that, that that's everything. Black people got a little freedom now, too. <laughs> but we might not be using it. At the same, like Jerry was saying. So you're saying that you don't think women are trying. I'm not saying that. No, what you saying? No, no, no. I'm just saying. I'm going to write the post about I feel like what he's saying is... Like I said, y'all hold y'all standards. Oh, I thought he was about to say. I thought he was about to cuss. Yeah, no, no, no. Hold y'all. Hold the standard. Y'all hold. Y'all create the standard. I don't care what nobody say. That's Women true. run this world. That's true. If y'all want to. Y'all. If y'all want to. Y'all tell So y'all don't think that it would be happening right now? Okay, if it was just about wanting to. I, what? What do you mean? You I'm said. Saying, oh, I, Oprah is probably is one of the most powerfulest. Powerful is powerful. I like that word. I like that. I like that. She's one of the most powerful. Most powerful human beings on earth. Not just women, but human beings on earth. Well, that that that's refers because, back to the bootstrap theory. The bootstrap. Well, Meritocracy. That's that's the theory that anybody can pull themselves up by the bootstraps if they, you know, if they just try. But what if? Okay. What so if you don't what have? Saying. What if you don't have straps to begin with? I mean, it's an excuse. nobody's like saying it's not that. An excuse. It's an excuse. Just like that's like somebody saying, "Oh, I don't have a, uh, I, I don't have a daddy, so I could treat." Uh, I, so I never was taught how to treat a woman or whatever. That's no excuse. No, it's so many. It's, that's no. an excuse. No. Some people, it's people don't have education, don't have food, but they still making way. It's like you Some have to make people, a way to get but that. They, what they you have the resources. You demand what you so want. So you think that the bootstrap theory is a good theory, that everybody should be able to pull themselves up by the bootstraps? I don't think it's a good theory, but I'm going to say that women. Yes, everybody no. should be able to. I think women, though. So you think everybody is in the in, in the um, unfortunate position that they're in because they don't want better for themselves? It, it's, not the, it's not even that. But also, I feel like it's up to you to be able to reach out to those resources that's out there. Exactly. I feel like it's so exactly. many re like when people say, "Oh, I, when a mm -hmm. poor they're poor or whatever all this, there's really 
no reason. So to you're be saying poor. that the poor is poor because they lazy? I'm not. Basically. <gasps> no. Basically. No. I, I yeah. Any social, any social class, any 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 class here will tell you that the poor ain't poor just because they they all lazy. It's getting that live ain't what on it's two about. live radio, by the way. So yes, what is it then? Is it just because they don't have the 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 knowledge? The reason is it given know. to them? I don't know. Some people just don't have the resources and don't have access to the resources. Everybody that's poor don't want to be poor. Everybody right. that's poor. I'm not saying they want to be, but at the same time, I feel like it's you got to put some effort to getting somewhere. Like you, you, you just can't just. I'm poor. <laughs> and just you know what I'm saying? Like you can't do that. You can't. You got to figure out. I, I feel like if if I ever get into the situation where I'm down and out to my last dollars. I'm going to figure out a way to eat, period. I'm going and, to figure out ways to get money. And back to okay. women, it's a lot of advantages to being a woman nowadays anyway. Like, there are well, advantages, like, it ain't but like, not as many as there you are You're making it sound like men are just oh, like just like holding the girl down by her neck. Like, I'm not saying that, up. but anybody yeah. could agree that this is this is a man's world. The woman the woman is not on top in, in American society and in a lot of places. But like Jerry was saying, we ain't had no woman president yet. Why is that? Let's talk about that on the next one because we didn't talk too much. All right, we're going we about to go to music real quick. <laughs> Too Live Radio, we back, we back. Too Live. So, <laughs> so apparently, Tata, you got some bad I got, news. I got for some me. devastating news for you because I know, I, I know this your girl, but yeah, you know Carrie me. Washington is four months pregnant, y'all. By her husband as she, you know, married on the low. He he played for the Nam 40 Nam 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 on the low, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but I can't. Hey, I'm going to shout him out. Nam Di I'm going to give can clap it up for him because. Okay. I mean, he shot up a club that every man has wanted to, like, shoot oh. up. Like, for real. Like, if I can impregnate Kerry Washington, I would do it without hesitation. So, he's okay. doing So, is the scandal over? He No, they probably going to try to write that into the season. That's going to be good because you so probably ain't going to know who president. baby it is. Oh. It's either might be Jake baby or Fitz baby. Oh, snap. I'm she, team both. Now, I don't watch the, the series, but I have seen a couple episodes. So, she messing with two... Well, not She's right now, but she had. Yeah, she did. Else? When her and the president fell out. That's not a good look for black women. The president sent the guy to go. See? <laughs> we and hey, y'all, oh, shout out. Oh, shout out to Carrie. Let's not. No, no, she you messing with the president. She a boss. I'm not saying she that. She a boss? No, I'm not she saying that. I'm she not in charge. saying that. Mm-mm. Mm, okay. Not because of that relationship. Because uh, of her professional stuff yes she yes. is a boss for that but not for that she, not messing with a married man can, she, I, can i ask you a question why do you watch what keeps you in tune with skin because I, like i said i, tr oh, I man, really gave it an honest effort but i can't get i don't in know tune. to me the president and the president got so much passion man that man fine but the skin no it's no besides that's that that's no 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 besides that though it really is an interesting story you can't always keep up every time you it, it really you really do need a week in between so you can talk to your friends like okay so he was trying to do this 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 what was in the file was that that and this <laughs> it's crazy the stuff that happens is crazy i think if from, from i didn't watch seen, the first season it seemed like a soap opera it seemed like like my grandma's stories it feel uh, like that it feel like it's Young like and that no it's like that mixed with like uh uh What's that show? Law and Order and uh, stuff like that. Yeah. It's like that mixed with something else. This is a whole new genre right here. One one mm. thing I can't say they messed up on is giving it to BET so early. I they saw that. BET got it. Yeah, BET they do. I just it. saw oh, that. BET. And it's not even like, do that? Yes, uh, look, the yeah. cameraman saw it. It's, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's... You get the chance to watch that. Shout yeah. out to Jordan. <laughs> BET got it so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> BET got it so. Yeah, I don't they think do. that was a good oh. move. They should have waited and like 10 years and then got it. Because at first, I thought that it was going to be like, you know, they wait and they was just going to show the whole old season. Yeah. No, I had on BET the other day, they showed the season from, I mean, the show from last week. Oh, damn. Oh, BET they did that. current. They trying to keep it current. Yeah, they are. I don't, I don't know BT about that. BET had ideas, so they trying to they do are. anything. They are. That's what they it are. Is. They need to bring Comic View back, for real, for real. Oh, that was They good. had Comic View uh, back, actually, with Kevin Hart. And it was but, yeah, that was way it. back when that was a, no that yeah. was last not oh. even last year I want to say over the summer what uh, no I yes they did yes, was, they yeah. showed and did. that's I feel like them was old though I feel like I saw no nah, them might have no so episode. you uh, they, man tried man to, said. they tried to bring back <laughs> Comic View uh, Showtime at the Apollo <laughs> uh, it was Comic View Showtime at the Apollo 
and some other show that they tried to bring back, but it wasn't. Even Showtime at the Apollo was but. Like, what? Who the host? You remember the Steve womp, Harvey? Womp? Yeah, yeah, but Steve he was Harvey up was there the, looking like a drug is, addict. Is anybody newer than Steve Harvey on there? Gator. Did they do something newer than that? So um, the, the it, latest one you talking about was with Steve Harvey? No, it was not. It was some what? other. I can't even think of the host who the host was. Wow. But uh, what was it? Uh, I can't would, even. I, I would you even perform at the that. Apollo? Is that too I much would, for you right now? Um, like if you had the chance to do it right now, would you do it? Would I be? I, w- I honestly wouldn't be ready, in my opinion. Uh-huh. But I would do it just for the experience, mm-hmm. and I would try my best. And I feel like I would have fun. I would go a different way with at it. The, but. At the Black hey. Alumni thing, somebody walked out, didn't they? They said you was cussing too they much. They said I was cussing too much. And oh. the old lady walked out. I was shocked. Hey Jerry, I, who is some of your like comedic influences? Like for who? Uh, my my biggest one is uh, Martin Lawrence. Martin Lawrence. I okay. love Martin. That's Martin. he still to me. He impacted the comic game in so many uh, ways. ways. Mm-hmm. So I always look at a lot of Martin. Uh, on a business standpoint, I'm not a big Kevin Hart fan mm-hmm. personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, cause I feel like he's a lot. He's very commercial. Like he yeah, don't yeah. talk about the real stuff. That yeah, no, comics, no. comedians mm-hmm. used to talk yeah, about. Yeah, back yeah, 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 yeah. But on a business standpoint, Kevin Hart is a good role model. He so. got a good team too. Uh-huh. Like, oh yeah, he got a real good team. Who's real your favorite um, white comedian? White comedian. I like Jim Carrey. Uh, I like Will Ferrell. I like this dude named Bill Burr. He hilarious. He, was Bill on, Burr? he used to be on the Chappelle show. Yeah. Okay. Okay. White yeah. comedian would probably be, I would probably say Drew Carey. Drew Carey. <laughs> Ooh, that's real throwback. I would probably say I ain't Drew. never seen his stand-up. He was actually one Neither. of the few. I never got into Seinfeld, but the Drew Carey show. Seinfeld. <laughs> the Drew Carey show actually kept my attention. Like, he was low-key. He was low key, He he was a, a brother in reverse. Yeah. Like, <laughs> some of the struggles I can yeah. relate to. Okay. So you want to have your own show then eventually? Or is that something you... Uh, not necessarily my show, mm-hmm. uh, but I want to start my own sitcom about other people's lives. Oh, okay. okay. I can't give y'all everything. No, yeah. no, I understand. But yeah. I, I got some ideas for every, so, from a couple of my friends <laughs> so that okay. that uh, I'm actually in the work with I got now. one question. So, did they go to OU? Did these they friends? did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they did. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jerry, it was nice having you. So y'all trying to kick me out? Li- yeah. I, I want to stay. No, you know you don't want to stay. It's just really hot <laughs> it in here, It's here, burning man. up in here. I'm about to take his stocking cap off. Uh, okay, okay. Oh. That, keep, keep playing with me. <laughs> keep playing, Lucy Lou. Uh, okay. Cotton candy, sweet uh, girl. <laughs> let me see. Ta 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 go. Uh, nah, come on. Don't get me started. I think, don't I think get that's me started. a good. We should play that. That's a good time to go into music. Okay. We're gonna play that. Jerry, thank dedicated. you for coming today, man. Now, thank y'all for having me. Follow the Get Out Studios page, right? What's the Get Out Studios? You can follow us on Instagram at Get Out Studios. Just regular Get out studios in one word or you can follow us on twitter at <laughs> underscore underscore get out and uh there you could see all our latest videos keep up with uh what we're doing next and i'm telling you y'all need to stay in store for every stay tuned with what we about to do because uh get out studios about to take over Yay. shout out to the team <laughs> All right, so we'll be right back with the conclusion. I'm excited to say, V Nasty. What did I tell you about calling me that? Like, that's not my, <laughs> it's either young me the problem. You can call you, me my government name, Valerian. That's you know. a cute name, too, but what you got against V Nasty? I just don't, somebody already got it. You know, what? that one oh, chick who was with Creation, whatever. You're right about that. She Rick already Ross, got the name. We already talked about Rick Ross yeah, putting up yeah, on Shine that yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so all right, I can't all right. be V Nasty. All right, that's cool, V Nasty. And then my baby mama gonna ask you, why she calling you V Nasty? What y'all, like, you know? Oh, okay, you know what I get saying? it. I don't wanna, I don't wanna play her hater perpetrate. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I understand, yeah, but. Yeah, I appreciate that. Appreciate but, you respecting <laughs> respecting my wishes. I'm excited to say that we do have a Twitter and it's two live radio that's T O O L I V E radio I think- no nothing just that and we have Instagram with the same exact name so what do we want them to do with that information? We want y'all to follow us ASAP. And then if you if you get comments about anything we say, tweet us. Feel free to tweet, tweet us. Tweet us about music requests, about um, topics, anything that happened on the show. Anything that's going on on campus y'all want us to talk about. Yeah, we can, definitely. Yeah. Put We can put up stuff on our Instagram, flyers for events on campus. We can um, broadcast y'all's events. Anything. I'm putting a lot of selfies up on the Instagram. You're not going to do that. You're not going <laughs> to. Nobody... <laughs> 
we go to Sloan Kettering for all the. Oh yeah, uh, let me shout out Sloan double underscore Kettering for all the shameless selfies. For the uh. thirsties. Oh, <laughs> they ain't gotta be thirsty. Look at my stuff. Uh -oh. What do they gotta be there? <laughs> 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 they, whatever. Anyway, whatever. on that note, man, y'all have a great week. Thank y'all for listening. Catch us every Sunday at six o'clock. Again, we want to thank Get Out Studios for their production. Jerry Valentine for being on the show. Jerry Valentine, Arthur Green, Cuddy. <laughs> Jordan. No, Shout saying. out to Jordan. Jordan Tyner is, is in the building as well. But thank y'all for listening. We'll catch y'all next week. All right, peace. Get out! <laughs>